today we are back at the, another uh, live event. It's a tw uh, 21 pilots uh, event. The uh, show is just about to begin. So enjoy the video. Hello everyone on Roblox, we're 21 oh. Pilots, and welcome to our pre-show. We're coming to you today from Newport Music Hall in our hometown of Columbus, Ohio. We're so excited to be here with you on Roblox. We've got a huge show for you this week, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Hey guys, get those emotes going. I need to see a little movement. I'm not seeing enough movement. Look who's in the crowd. Kind of looks like your dad. There's my dad. Oh, oh, cyborg. The best board, really. There's also giant French fries. We know we've got a huge community of fans from all over the world here on Roblox. So thank you all for coming and supporting us. A special shout out to the 21 yeah, Pilots group see, on Roblox. Not, we I'm see. Not we the actually have a special video sure. for you all. Josh, tell them. Not many people know this, but it's actually been 10 years since we had one of our first sold-out shows here. This place marked a huge milestone in our careers. 10 years. Long time. Wow. Check this out. So we're at the entrance of the famous uh, venue Newport wow. Music Hall. Now, you understand, Newport Music Hall was kind of the promised land for a local band here in Columbus, well, Ohio. You if you so could play a show at this venue, in some way, you have made it. Now, we played this venue many times, fortunate enough to headline it ourselves. But this venue for us kind of represents where Josh and I started, where we met, kind of what our sights were set on as a local band. And so we want to kind of just give you a tour of this awesome place. Over here in the merch tables, in these tables, you had to kind of like fight for them because other bands that were playing that day would try to get in position to put your merch in the best spot so that people, when they would walk in, they would see your merch. What happens is a band comes in and plays, sells their merch, and then also just puts a sticker on there to oh, show people that they play here. So, so we actually have two, one right here and right here. That night, that I put that sticker right there on that merch table it was the night that I met Josh. This is where we met. I think I was here. Yeah, and I came, I actually... And you were walking this way, and I think, what, did I say something to you, or did you say something? I said something to you, I was actually on my way out, and Tyler was here, oh, and said, hey, oh, I'm Josh, nice to meet you, great show. Great. <laughs> and, right. um, and, and we kind of just began a yeah. conversation right here. Yeah. And, uh, and then we kind of so, yeah. just made yeah, everyone, general everyone plans to, exactly. so it's to not hang out it's at the, some point. Uh, yeah, we actually hung out. And uh, shout-outs to the, the girlfriends that we had that we're no longer with. Yeah. Hi, we're uh, Toronto Pilots, and uh, this is our show. Another robot video is going. We're in what's called the pit of the venue. My first few times coming here and uh, seeing shows, 
I realized quickly that this was where you wanted to be if you wanted to really be part of the show. People will jump, people will push, people will dance. As a local band, it was a big deal to be able to sell enough tickets to have anyone up in the second level. When we first started playing this venue, we would be on with nine other bands because you needed that many bands just to bring that many sets of parents to your show. Um, and then eventually we were able to sell our own tickets and then eventually we sold this place out and to walk up on stage and not only just see some people down here in the pit in the surrounding area, but to actually look up and see people in the second level on the balcony was a kind of a big moment for a for a local band at Newport. We were working regular jobs at a restaurant. You know, we had to do this on the weekends because we had to work during the week and being back here it reminds me of juggling school juggling work and juggling that passion of music we didn't know what our lives were going to look like and so it was cool to come back to this place and be reminded of how many questions have been answered since then So now we're up on the stage, and when we were playing stage. here as a local band, we, we didn't have crew, guys that worked for us, but, so we had to set up our own instruments in front of everybody. So we put a hoodie on, and we pretend like it's not us, and we'd walk over, and Josh would set his drums up, and I'd put, you know, plug in all my instruments, and people would cheer because they're like, I know that's them, but we're like, no, it's not us yet. Just wait. So we'd set all our instruments up, and then we would leave, take our hoodies off, and then come back out on stage. We were different people. I think we got 15, 1,800 people in this venue. After that show, we played on the stage for a sold out crowd. The next day, we had 13 different labels calling us, wanting us to sign to them. So something really magical happened after this particular show in this particular venue. And to think that playing in front of, you know, 1,800 people in here compared to what we're going to do playing in front of millions of people in Roblox is, uh, is pretty crazy to think about. Well, we have given you a little tour of one of our favorite venues, if not our favorite venue in the world, which is Newport Music Hall in Columbus, Ohio, our hometown. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the little tour, given a, a little bit of a history to our band. And uh, now we're going to throw it back to Tyler and Josh sitting on stools. Oh my. Thanks, guys. This is such a trip down memory lane. To our most dedicated fans, thank you for your support over the years. Music to us, Bro, it Robert really did save so us, delight. and uh, it stopping. means a lot to us. And we've always believed in the art of storytelling and songwriting. Music videos have always been really important to us in communicating what the song is saying. A lot of times it's really powerful to be able to put a visual, an intentional visual, to a song to really show people what it is we're trying to communicate with that song. And each song on this newer record is its own little story. When you zoom out, they're all connected as well. And we're 
we're still in the process of connecting those dots for you guys. And if you want to dive into what story we've been telling for the last 10 years, we've got a lot of stuff that we've been working on in the past and in the future. Josh and I, we believe in albums. We love a group of songs that are meant to be together. These songs are aware of each other. We love that these albums can connect to each other as well. So we've been telling this story with all these albums for a while now, and the story's not over yet. The color of the record really has a lot of meaning to it. Our record, Blurry Face, had a lot of red and that color represented a certain character in the story and then the next record trench was a uh, very green and yellow and green represents the natural side of this world and how we're starting to get more and more cemented in our cities and in our routines and then that yellow really represented a way to mark your friends mark alliances it was like this person is for me we felt like at shows that's been really awesome to see playing concerts and seeing our fans in person and then the new record scaled and icy very blue but almost in a neon way it's trying to compensate for the lack of color that record was written mostly alone in isolation these songs on this latest record is a testament to that getting ready for our first concert on roblox was like nothing we've ever done before here's a little peek behind the scenes we are doing motion capture for our Roblox concert. There are sensors all throughout this thing. Uh, so whenever we move, our avatars move. I think this is a $12,000 suit, I was told. It's tight. It looks tight. Don't tilt down. <laughs> what do you think? I feel great. <laughs> 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 I'm starting to break sweat. I'm gonna smell great after the end of this day. I'd have to take the suit off, yeah. so my, my my body would just be like. It's <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Then I mean, it could literally be doubles. It would mirrors of me or whatever. Yeah. I like that lean, like all three, like lean over. Yeah. <laughs> Just getting the capture of our facial expressions. It looks so funny. No! That is very tight. Let's test Tyler. Give me a wide open mouth. All the way down. <laughs> Love you, man. Yes. I'm fine. Everything's fine. You want to talk to your mom again? Oh, yeah. Hey, mom. <laughs> We just throw this. <laughs> so that's it. We captured motion, we captured audio, face stuff. Josh and I were wearing suits. We were playing the show in this green screen area. And to the end of the video, you can screenshot this and do whatever you want to me.
Boy, that green screen is not a good idea, Tyler. But we'll see. Yeah, but at least oh, I think we look so pretty sweet. We did look uh, sweet. So we did look sweet. Um, we should take them home with us. Honestly. I know. Speaking of look pretty sweet, I noticed that uh, uh, some of you in the crowd are sporting that sweet 21 Pilots. Oh, baby. is that an emote? Is that uh, an emote? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's on, is that my, an emote? on my wish list for sure. Yeah. One thing that we're, we're, we're very used to is playing in front of a live audience. Playing in a room, capturing uh, our movements down to the T. It's very, very different. One portion of it is capturing our, our body movements and then our facial expressions. Which is another interesting thing to just be focusing on while we're performing, comparing it to live. Will be here on a stage, and those things yeah, just come naturally. Um, and in that first, Josh was smiling the whole time. No one wants the drummer to be smiling the whole time. Not the whole time, at least. You have to find inspiration in what the product is going to be, rather than really just experiencing the product as it's happening, which is usually how it happens with a live show. When this opportunity came along to work with Roblox on a virtual concert where we have an avatar who's mimicking all of our facial expressions and our body movements, it just it brought me back to when all we wanted to do was find new ways to get in front of people. The partnership with Roblox just made sense because what it is, is just a platform to be as creative as you could possibly imagine. When we started our band, there was never really this platform to be able to perform 